Notre Dame's victory over Army in 1924 is remembered not so much for what happened on the field, but how the game was described by the legendary sports writer Grantland Rice. In his first year as head coach, Newt Rockney had started four sophomores in the offensive backfield. Harry Stuhldreyer played quarterback. Don Miller was the right halfback. Jim Crowley, the left halfback and Elmer Layden played fullback. All were quick off the snap and possessed outstanding speed and moves in the open field. The nation knew Rockney had a great team in 1924, but the Army game in New York City, played in front of over 55,000 fans at the polo grounds, catapulted the team into football immortality. For the record, Notre Dame won 13 to seven over the cadets, but it wasn't until Sunday morning that the full force of the game was felt. The New York Herald Tribune had assigned Rice to cover the game. And as he sat in the press box, he wrote what has become the most famous passage in sports journalism. Outlined against the blue gray October sky, the four horsemen rode again. In dramatic lore, they are known as famine, pestilence, destruction, and death. These are only aliases. Their real names are Stuhldreyer, Miller, Crowley, and Layton. Credit must also be given to Rockney's publicity aide, George Strickler. Strickler posed the players in full uniform atop four horses. The wire services picked up the now famous photo and the legendary status of Stuhldreyer, Miller, Crowley, and Layden was assured. All four players were eventually elected to the College Football Hall of Fame, and Notre Dame won the national championship, completing an unbeaten season which included a win over Stanford in the Rose Bowl. <laughs>